Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and we're skipping the jokes because we're actually on our way out uh, to travel for the week, and all the videos you're going to see come out this week have already been filmed, so I'll be editing them from wherever I'm going. But uh, a few folks have called out that I missed something very important in the Intune Config Refresh video, so I just want to clarify that now. Um, can I roll the song? We'll roll the song and then talk about it. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so when I talked about the way config refresh works and essentially how its policy changes, it checks in. Um, it doesn't actually check into Intune. That's why I kind of made this line saying it checks in with the config refresh policy. Um, and the benefit of this is, you know, you can't change the Intune sync cycle. So it's not like we're forcing the device to talk to Intune more. We're actually telling it when to check the refresh policy, and that's that cadence. So real quick, I want to show you how that works. Um, so once the config refresh is enabled, what that does is this will tell it to check against the set policy. So if we go to Microsoft, let's see here. Policy Manager. Um, and basically when you look under the providers, if we look under the same, this is the same provider uh, that's linked to our enrollment, that's in tune essentially. It's gonna check everything that's been set here. So when I did the Windows update, this is telling it what to check against. So when I delete it locally and config refresh runs, it doesn't have to go to Intune. It can check the default provider set in the Policies Manager say hey listen are you current are you missing what's against here because this is against current so current policy manager current device and the policies here are what's currently on the device providers are what's been dropped from intune so think about it this way every time intune syncs uh during that normal policy check-in which could be up to eight hours that is where you can change policy and affect this but in between there right if something locally changed up here, which I went and deleted, right? It'll check against this to make sure everything's okay. So uh, that's how it works. I love the Microsoft community. I love that people are watching enough to notice if I skip something or I glaze over something. Um, there's a lot to cover. And I do like to break things down so they're simple, but sometimes an oversimplification can be confusing as well. So hopefully that cleared things up. If you have questions, reach out in the Discord. Be happy to talk about it. It's a great feature, uh, probably even more so because it can do this offline. And we'll be seeing you.